Hey, what's up everybody? It's Trey and welcome back to Trey TV. So today is episode three of Becoming the Mandalorian and we're gonna be going over one of my most asked questions besides where'd you get the helmet? Where did you get the suit? We're gonna be going over the undersuit as well as all the accessories. So let's do this. Thank you guys for joining me again. If it's your first time joining me, please consider subscribing. So let's talk about this suit. If you've seen my videos, you know that I go for the episode one slash episode two uh, pre-Beskar suit. Now, as much as I love the Beskar suit, I just really love the first incantation of, is that a, is that a right word? Uh, the first version of the Mandalorian suit. I feel like it tells a story with with the battle damage and, and the uh, the paint scheme that he's like kind of pieced together his armor. So that is what my armor is based on. So let's talk about the undersuit. I got the undersuit from eBay. It's the eBay slash cosplay sky suit. Technically like a budget option, but even though it only comes in at $120, I know a lot of guys have been using this suit to get approved for the 501st and the uh, the Mandalorian Mercs. I think there's a couple missing stitches, uh, but they use this suit as their screen accurate suit. So like I said, it comes in at $120 and it comes with all this stuff, but really we're only concerned with the base pieces. So that's the, uh, the pants, the shirt, the vest, and then the cummerbund. Comes with this really crappy upholstery foam armor, as well as some like leather uh, armor pieces. But I got rid of all that. I took a seam ripper to those armor pieces as soon as I got it. So these base pieces are really incredible, really great for the price too, because it's a heavy fabric and the stitching is really great. The only downfall that I'm gonna say about this is the zippers. I've had a couple of zippers fail on me and I think I'm gonna have to get them replaced. But other than that, it's a really great option. And pretty much all I did to the suit, it was weathering it. I airbrushed uh, around the uh, cummerbund as well as hit it with like some spray paint and just kind of rub that off. So now we've talked about the undersuit, let's talk about the accessories and let's go down the list. Let's talk about the gloves. So these are the gloves that came with. Um, they're really tight, they kind of look uh, like plasticky I guess. So I was kind of in a jam before Halloween and I was like I need some decent looking gloves. I know there's some really great glove makers out there uh, but I was like you know what I need to find something here locally and this is what I came up with and I'm super happy with how they turned out. I hope you guys can see that. But they are gloves from uh, Target and then they are from, what's the place called? Why can't I think of it? Tractor Supply. So the gloves are from uh, Tractor Supply and then the black gloves are from Target. So literally what I did was I got, I think, medium deer skin or cowhide gloves. I got these in a medium and then I went over to Target and I got large gloves. I took them inside just to make sure they would fit and then I just cut them off. I hit them with some black spray paint but I still think I need to get them a little bit more dirty but other than that, they came out really great. The leg wrap. So really, I didn't mind the leg wrap. Like I said, I'm kind of going for like a budget friendly option here. Uh, so I stuck with that and I really didn't make any changes to that. Next. Ammo leg wrap. So I did stick with this actually. So here's my, uh, my leg piece. We'll get to the armor stuff in the next episode. Uh, but these pieces really aren't that bad. They're pleather. Um, so what I did was I cut off the strapping and then recut that and then fed those in over my uh, 3D printed ammo. But for a budget option, you know, it looks great. So thumbs up. The bandolier. So the bandolier, I think I'm probably most happy with how this turned out. The bandolier that came with the original costume was way too skinny and it just didn't look right. So I got this bandolier for, uh, I think it was $100 from x Cozier, and I really think the bandolier needs to be, you need to have a proper bandolier because you can't have this, this skinny bandolier. It looked really great as it came, but I was like, you know what, all these 
all these bandoliers that you see, I mean the screen accurate bandolier is a dark brown. So what I did was I took some black shoe polish. So what I did was I took the, uh, the bandolier and then I just rubbed this on there, kind of wiped it off and then did another, another coat uh, and left it on there for 20 minutes and then wiped it off again. As you can see, it came out really, really good. The only other thing I would say would be um, the buckles, but I mean, the, the cape covers the top buckle and I might be able to 3D print like a main buckle, but other than that, really happy with how that came out. Boots. So evidently the Skecher Blaine Orison boots are the boot that they used on screen, a modified version of that. So I got these off Amazon and let me tell you, they're some of the nicest boots I've ever worn. Now you can get boot covers to modify these, but I don't know if I want to mess them up. But as of right now, they're good to go for this budget friendly version. The cape. For the cape, I was in a little bit of a time crunch. The black fabric cape that came with the costume was just no good. A lot of people use a boiled wool blanket. A lot of people use military surplus blankets. I wasn't able to get one in time. So I use an existing blanket that I had actually from American Airlines flight. Great material, looked pretty close. So what I did was I found a, a pleating tutorial and made it using this blanket. Uh, it actually turned out really great. I uh, cut it up at the bottom and then uh, weathered it with some spray paint, some black, brown, and gray spray paint. So yeah. I think that's it for the accessories, the undersuit. Did I get everything? I think I got everything. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I want to make sure that I hit every single comment that you guys leave for me. So thank you for the support. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for this episode. It's a quick one. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to be going over the armor as well as the battle damage paint, how I did that. And then I'm going to be finishing up my uh, 3D printed helmet here soon. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, and until next time, create, don't hate, and peace. Ciao.